All right. Hey, guys. Um, we're going to go over the charge interactions concept builder. Um, not going to lie, this one is difficult. Um, the reason it's difficult is that it can be really tricky with the wording. Um, and it's a simulation where you choose one and then I'll tell you something else and you have to choose the next one, but then you'll realize that you have to go back and change something. And it can just be a little tricky to put all together. And so let's do a couple examples on The Apprentice um, and we'll see if we can get you guys rolling. Um, so let's do this. Okay, so object A is positively charged. Great. Object A and object B attract each other. Okay, so if object A is positive and object A and object B attract, you might be thinking, obviously, it's negative. Okay, but don't forget that in the process of polarization, right, a positively charged object can also attract a neutral object. And so it would not be incorrect to say, negative or neutral, okay? Okay, so let's just check that really quick. Object A is positive, object A and object B attract, so that means that it's negative or neutral, good. Okay, now object B and object C attract. Okay, so what would negative attract? Negative would attract positive, negative would attract neutral. Let's take a look at neutral. Neutral will attract positive or negative. So honestly, C can be, and they actually do have this option, positive, negative, or neutral. This is where it's going to get tricky. This is the putting it all together. So object C and object D now repel each other. Okay. So what is C going to repel? So C is positive then C will repel another positive. Okay, so D can be positive. If C is negative, then C would repel another negative, right? And if C was neutral, it wouldn't repel anything. So C is not neutral. That just kind of gave it away. So let's just go ahead and we'll change this to positive or negative, and we'll go ahead and we'll change this guy also to positive or negative. Let's go back and check our work. So object A is positively charged. Object A and object B attract. Okay. So negative or neutral. Okay, good. Object B and object C attract. Okay, so if it's negative, it'll attract the positive. If it's neutral, it could attract positive or negative. Um, and then they repel, positive or negative. Okay, so let's check our answer. And there we go, that away. All right, let's do another one. All right, so object A is negatively charged. Okay, um, object A and object B repel. Okay, so if object A is negative and object A and B repel, then B has to be negative. There's no neutrality about that. Okay, next. Object B and object C attract. Okay, so if they attract each other, then what do we do? So that means it could either be positive or it could be neutral. So let's go ahead and put positive or neutral. Object C and object D repel. Okay, so if C is positive, then D would repel a positive. If C is neutral, then neutral would not repel anything. So C can't be neutral. C has to be positive. And if C is positive, then D is positive. Let's make sure that works. Object A is negatively charged. Object A and object B repel. So negative, negative would repel. B and C attract positive or neutral. Neutral was eliminated though because C and D repel. Let's go ahead and check our answer and that away. Good. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go ahead and let's go to the main menu 
Um, and let's go ahead and attempt the master method. Okay, you'll notice that they add an extra charge, and so that's what they deem to be the master level here. Okay, so object A is positively charged. Okay, object A and object B attract. Okay, so if A is positive and A and B attract, this one has to be negative or neutral. Okay, object B and object C repel. Okay, well, if B is negative, it will repel a negative. If B is neutral, it won't repel anything. So B is negative. And if B is negative, then C is negative. Okay. Object C and object D repel. Okay, that makes it easy. And object E. So D attracts E. So if D attracts E, then it needs to be positive or it needs to be neutral. There we go. Dad away. It's hard, but I think if you guys are talking to yourself as I'm doing so right now to myself, you guys will do fine. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get a wizard one going. What does this one do? Oh, they do six or seven interactions. Oh my gosh. They want me to kill myself. Kidding. All right. All right. So let's do this. Object A is negatively charged. Okay. So A and B attract. If A and B attract and A is negative, then B would be positive or neutral. Object B and object C repel. And so if B and C repel, just kind of similar process, then B, or sorry, C has to be positive if B is positive. And if B is neutral, then it won't repel anything. So B is actually not neutral, B is positive. And if B and C repel, that tells us that C is positive. Okay. Object C and object D attract. So if C and D attract, then it can either be, D can either be negative or it can be neutral. Okay. All right. D on E. So object D and object E repel. And so if D is negative, it will repel a negative. If D is neutral, it won't repel anything. This is making our life easy. So D is negative. Okay. And lastly, OK, so what about E on F? So E and F attract. OK. So let's go ahead. And that means that it has to be positive. Or neutral. Okay. And then it gives us one last thing. And object F and a neutral object attract each other. Okay. So if positive, would positive attract a neutral object? Yes. Would neutral attract an uh sorry, a neutral object? No. Well, that last sentence was important, right? Because it tells us that object F is not neutral. And so let's go ahead and make F to be positive. Has to be. Check your answer. Dad's away. Nice. All right. Now, as I already said, this one is hard. OK? Please, oops, what did I press? Wrong button. Please ask me for help um, if you guys need it. OK? Um, and please attend my office hours, OK? Um, if you need me to make another video, maybe. No, I'm kidding. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.